I've always been a country girl at heart, and I've always been a breakfast person. I've always really loved to eat breakfast, make breakfast, and have breakfast at midnight. I had the thoughts of having a bed and breakfast for years and years, and when I found this farm, it's 141 acres, I just fell in love. I fell in love with not only the farm, but the area. I can just stand in the front yard and look at the rolling hills and just, just be at peace. This is Hart County. One of the biggest attractions is uh, Mammoth Cave National Park and Cave System. There are lots of other caves that are different but wonderful, and um, Kentucky Down Under, Australia Theme Park, uh, antique shopping. And then we're also about a half an hour away from Elizabethtown, Glasgow, half an hour south of us, uh, Louisville, uh, an hour north of us, and Bowling Green, an hour south of us. All of these seem just very amenable to me. To This would be a great place for a bed and breakfast. People come with families, they come with children, they come by themselves. Single people come to get away from the city, um, just to be at peace and quiet, just to walk in the fields and just smell the fresh air. This is an interactive farm stay. There's a lot of things to do on the farm season to season. Anyone who comes can always feed livestock. They can always see livestock. They can always gather eggs. They can always feed carrots to horses. We have one breakfast in the morning. It's at 8 o'clock Central Time. Everyone is invited to come to breakfast, and most everyone comes. Occasionally there's a guest who they say, no, we're sleeping in, and they don't partake of breakfast. I always offer a fruit dish to begin, and coffee is always served in the morning for people who, who would like that. Um, so when people come down at 8 o'clock, even though I may still be finishing up something in the kitchen, they're welcome to sit and begin with their fruit then they are served a warm breakfast. And it's a full country breakfast. It always involves um, our farm fresh eggs in some form. When I serve pancakes, I always serve blueberry pancakes and chocolate chip pancakes. We always have meats, bacon or sausage or sausage patties or sausage links. I have recipes passed down the generations. And then there's recipes that guests bring and they say, oh, I have a great breakfast recipe, so they share and then as soon as breakfast is over, we take buckets of you know, fruits and vegetables out to the barns, and we first of all feed the chickens, and then uh, we gather eggs from the chickens. And we have about 150 chickens. We have four horses and a pony right now, and so we feed horses, and um, that's always a special delight because they get to really pet a horse. I have four goats. We ask one of the goats to be a volunteer, each day, and um, I show the guests, you know, who the who the goats are, why we have them, and um, why they're top winning goats. The great room is a, a very large room, lots of room to either be by yourself in this room or or with a group of people. We have five themed bedrooms honoring people groups, and they each have their own private bathroom. The first floor has the farmer's room, and it has some um, agricultural and industrial artifacts that has 10-foot ceilings and a queen-size bed. On the second floor, we have four rooms. The first one is the Pioneer Room. It's apple green walls, country French decorating, queen size bed, and it also can have a second room suite. Across the hall from that is the Artisan Room. It's a very colorful room and it has basically local artists handiwork. Everything from uh, white oak baskets to handmade Amish quilt, lots of handiwork of embroidery and stitchery. It has a very unique bathroom because it has um, a horse trough converted into a soaking tub. The Patriot Room is blue and gray honoring the north and the south. Uh, it has a queen-size bed, lots of Kentucky and Americana memorabilia. It's 
flags that came from the floorboards of a barracks that was pulled down of Fort Knox. And then the last room up there is the gentry. We went a little more upscale with the gentry. King size bed, um, Louis XIV furniture, and it really honors King Louis XVI, who was a very benevolent king who sent troops for the American colony's freedom. And so the room is really named for him. And it also has a second room that can be a two-room suite. Downstairs is the basement recreation room, and it's really for young and old alike. The gift shop has consignment, mostly consignment items, but they're all locally made or, or at least handmade, homemade. One thing I promote here at Country Girl at Heart Farm Bed and Breakfast is the opportunity to get as involved as you'd like or just be at peace and still while you're here and just enjoy the tranquility of the farm life. I think it's really neat because a lot of people have memories of farm stays, that they've grown up in a farm, we're going to grandma's house on the farm, and when they remember those, that just warms my heart.